Now, you've been traveling and you've been sharing this with associations and corporations. So tell us a little bit about that and how people can get in touch with you if they're interested in having you speak to their organization on AI and all the the information along with that. I think it's fascinating. My, I, I think it's wonderful. Well, what happened, <clears throat> Jane, was because because I was I'm, I'm known as an ethics speaker. The question came up about ethics and AI and so forth. OK, I, I get that. That makes perfect sense. But then someone said, well, we just want to know how it works. We just don't gotcha. understand it. All right. Now, look, you're in the Speaker Hall of Fame. You are amazing on a stage. So I promise you, you are. But I promise you, you could go into any audience and you could carry on a conversation about something you understand and that audience would be pleased. So I said for me, all right, I understand the ethical implications, but I'm playing with this. I'm using it. I've got practical experience. So when I step on the stage, I am going to show you how it works. I'm not going to talk to you about theory. It's like, let's do it live. Now, how about that? How do you do that, Chuck? Well, it's, okay, I'm going to say this and be funny. It's easy. I mean, it's, it's live, right? I don't know what it's going to do, but that's part of the fun of it. It's like, okay, good. Oh, yeah. So you're in South Carolina. I'm in South Carolina. So South Carolina has a lot of uh, smaller, mu uh, not municipalities, but um, uh, smaller utility providers. You know, the local water provider, the whatever. You get the idea. So I was doing this utility group. And, and, and I said to them, I said, okay, we're going to get started with this. What, what is one of the problems you have you'd like to know an answer to? And this one guy, he thought he's being smart. He said, we've got a problem with squirrels on the power lines. And everybody <laughs> laughed. So I went into chat GPT and I said, all right, great. Now we're with a you know, local municipality that has problems with squirrels on the power lines. Give us an example of probably five solutions to how we could eliminate that problem. And chat GPT is, and these people are like, holy crap, that's good so, stuff. So, so logistically speaking, do you just have, you're connected to the internet, you on chat GPT, and you just type it in on the stage. On the stage, and it shows up on the screen. Oh and my gosh. We you are see, doing that's, we're doing that's it live. That's and, gold. And the, that's gold. The thing that people like about it is the fact that th they didn't have the guts to try it, but they're in a meeting and they're seeing it. Now, one I of the see. things, Jane, you'll appreciate this, but one of the things it said for the squirrel on the power line is spray it with fox urine. OK, now people are laughing at that. It's like, oh, my God, how would we hire somebody to do that? And I said, well, why don't we write a job description for that? So oh. we put in write a job description. Jane, I'm going to tell you the job description that those people saw. They were like, crap, I I'd, I'd, I'd might apply for that. That sounds really good. So <laughs> they got to see the fact that not only can you identify problems and solutions, but you can try to find ways to, to solve those problems. And my point for all of them is get over your fear. It is a tool. It's a Yeah, tool. and it's here to stay. <laughs> it ain't going anywhere. It's no, everybody wants to mow. <laughs> yeah, we've seen this. In 2025, 2030, your life and my life will be dramatically different because yeah. the old way, it's like the difference between... Uh, you and me going to college would look for uh, go to the library to try to look up material to write a paper. Our children would go online to look up material. Now you don't have to worry about it. You basically are going to use AI to pull it together for you more quickly, which means, like you said, you've seen phrases you never would have thought of. I have seen things in articles I never would have thought of. But it was like, holy crap, that was, that's cool, which means I'm learning. I'm 66, and I am learning from this in ways that I never would have thought of. So when you embrace the idea that it's a tool that's here to stay, you'll either be left behind or you'll ride the wave of where this is going to go. And it is going to be amazing. Well, I mean, just like last week I did my newsletter, and I was trying to think of something clever to put in there, some alliteration. You can ask it for alliteration. Oh, yeah. And it was it was about, I got really sick Christmas Eve. 
And I'll never forget that. And I remember my mother was there and I was 11 years old and I wrote about a look. It was a little more serious newsletter. I normally do funny. But I said, I happened to look out of the window at Roper Hospital and they had a live nativity scene. And I remember for the first time, the meaning of family and faith and friends meant so much to me because I had had a relapse and I was so sick and had to have all those IV fluids on Christmas Eve. Well, I, you know, I put in my request to Santa a pink banana seat bicycle. That's all I wanted was my pink banana seat bicycle. I said, boy, that got shoved way down the list because I was so sick. Yeah. And so what did AI come up with? Biking to Bethlehem. Oh. I, could, I could have never come up with biking to Bethlehem. Really? Yeah. So when you think about it, it is, it, we have to use it intelligently. And I know there are people out there that are going to abuse it. And there's probably going to be some government stuff stepping in. And um, I know a lot of people that work with like audio books. And this is what happened with the uh, strike recently about writers, <laughs> because you can write a script. You don't have to have, you don't have to hire somebody. You don't have to go to ACX and get, find your perfect voice. You know, um, so it is going to be a challenge for some of those folks who make their living this way. And and Jay Bayer, who everybody should be listening to that likes to market. And I've mentioned this to you. Jay Bayer said, y'all get ready. People aren't going to go to Google and find this. They're going to go in AI. They're going to say, I need a speaker that is it is um, from the southeast who's an AI expert. And yep. your name better come up there. Yep. Yeah. And as the more presence that you have on the web, because it's all web-based, right? it's all pulls from the web. 